Welcome to the Pharma Voice 100 one on one video series with Taryn Grohm. Hi, Suzanne. Congratulations on being named to the 2020 Pharma Voice 100. Uh, thank you so much, Taryn. It's truly an honor. And thank you for joining us for our celebration marathon. <laughs> My pleasure. Um, I know that after 25 years in the pharmaceutical industry, moving mountains, you are now focusing on mentoring the next generation of research professionals. So my question is, what is some of the biggest pieces of advice do you have to offer them? You know, I would say be willing to do anything that you might have ego that would say, you know, it's, it's beneath you. There's nothing beneath us. If you're willing to work you know, extra hard, do those menial tasks, there may come a time in your future that you would long for those menial tasks again. Um, so be willing to do what is beneath you, but also be willing to stretch, you know, be eager to willing, be eager and willing to learn new things, to try something new, and, and don't feel like you've got to hold out for a new title or a raise. Don't make it about the money. Just show your willingness and, You'll, it's just going to invite more people to reach out to you and get you involved in more things. You know, if you become that headache for your manager, of, oh, now we're going to have to have that raise discussion or why this other person got promoted. You know, I've just found if you make it about the money, you're going to find yourself miserable. But if you do it because that's the way you want to grow and push yourself, you know, absolutely everything is negotiable. That's awesome advice and well worth taking note of. Um, to switch tax just a little bit, as the chief operating officer of a CRO, what is the biggest trend you are tracking right now in terms of clinical research? Well, I'm sure it's no surprise, but virtual or hybrid trials that have some element of remoteness to them are it's probably the hottest thing that we talk about and watch for trending right now. Um, you know, one of the one of the concerns is who is going to foot the bill for this? Because adding technology is not free. Um, is it the responsibility of the sponsor or is it the responsibility of the site? You know, I, I think we're seeing a trend with smaller sites really struggling and they're being looked over if they're not able to offer remote EMR access or some aspect of remote regulatory binder or in a, a way to provide source documents for monitoring. Um, also integrating that data with our systems. So, you know, if, if sites want to be limited on the number of systems they use and want more control, unfortunately it means the sites are going to have to foot the bill to have that control. You know, in the, in the CRO world, we have to be adept at using systems more than ever before. Our sponsors have different systems. The sites have different systems. We have our own systems that we use. You know, I kind of equate it to being a Tesla salesman. You know, it's not just about knowing clinical and knowing GCP and operations anymore. You've got to be really technologically savvy. So that's the technology has become a huge component now, and we're talking about it every single day. Suzanne, thank you so much. Those are insights that I haven't yet heard in terms of who is footing the bill and having become so technology, technologically savvy to be able to fulfill the goals. So thank you so much for bringing those to light, and thanks for being part of our Celebration Marathon. Oh, it's my pleasure, Taryn. For more Pharma Voice 100 content, visit www.pharmavoice100.com.